concrete mix design, stage 1, to determine the free water to cement ratio. Stage 1 involved the specification of characteristic strength, determination of the standard deviation, calculation of the margin and target mean strength, specification of cement type, type of course and fine aggregates, determination of free water to cement ratio and specification of maximum free water to cement ratio if any. First, determination of the characteristic strength of concrete. The characteristic strength also refer to the grade of concrete. In very simple words, compressive strength of concrete is a measure of the concrete's ability to resist loads which tend to compress it. Characteristic compressive strength test measures the load resist by the concrete cubes after 28 days of curing. The strength of concrete is controlled by the proportioning of cement, coarse and fine aggregates, water, and various admixtures. Normal compressive strength or grade of concrete for beam, column, and slab construction is taken as 20, 25, 30, 35 or 40 MPa whilst concrete grade above 40 MPa is for high strength structures such as precast and pre-stressed elements. We need to specify the concrete grade before proceed to the design mixes procedure. Please take note that, 1 MPa is equal to 1 Newton per millimeter square. Next step is to specify the proportion defective. There is always the probability of the concrete compressive strength obtained less than the specified strength, although very minimum chances and it is called defectives. BS5328 and BS8110 adopt the 5% defective level in line with the international recommendations for the design and construction of concrete structures. For concrete mixes design, the proportion defectives are either 1%, 2.5%, 5%, or 10%. We need to specify the proportion of defectives before proceed to the next step of concrete mixes design. It is important to note that all figures and tables used should refer to the mix design and appendix form given to the student in the format of Microsoft Word. Kindly prepare the appendix before we continue. Next we need to determine the standard deviation. The standard deviation is a statistic that measures the dispersion of a data set relative to its mean and is calculated as the square root of the variance. A low standard deviation indicates that the values tend to be close to the mean, or also called the expected value, of the set, while a high standard deviation indicates that the values are spread out over a wider range. In the concrete mix design, the standard deviation calculated based from at least 20 results. If fewer results are available a standard deviation of 8 Newton per millimeter square should be used for concrete with a characteristic strength of 20 Newton per millimeter square or above, referring to line A in the figure 1.0. For example, concrete grade 30 and 9 samples of concrete cubes, so the standard deviation should be referred to line A and the value is 8 Newton per millimeter square as shown by the red dotted line. As explained in previous slide, there is always the probability of the concrete compressive strength obtained less than the specified strength although very minimum chances and it is called defectives. For concrete mixes design, the proportion defectives are either 1%, 2.5%, 5%, or 10%. Thus, constant K is a value appropriate to the percentage defectives permitted below the characteristic strength. Constant K value for 1% defective is 2.33, for 2.5% defective is 1.96, for 5% defective is 1.64 and K for 10% defective is 1.28. Next, the margin for mix design can be calculated using equation 1 by multiplying the standard deviation with constant K. For example, constant K for 5% is 1.64 multiply with 8 Newton per millimeter square of standard deviation, so the margin for mix design is equal to 13.12 Newton per millimeter square. Next, the target mean strength is obtained by adding the specified characteristic strength with the margin for mix design. For this example, the characteristic strength is 30 Newton per millimeter square plus with the margin for mix design. 13.12 newton per millimeter square 
so the target mean strength is equal to 43.12 newton per millimeter square. Next, we need to specify the cement type. There are three common types of cement, which are OPC stand for Ordinary Portland Cement, SRPC stand for Sulfate Resistant Portland Cement, and RHPC, Rapid Hardening Portland Cement. OPC is commonly used for regular construction where there is no exposure to sulfate in the soil or groundwater. SRPC is used when the concrete is exposed to sulfate attack for example the construction in the seawater, and RHPC is used when formwork is to be removed early for reuse or when required to achieve the concrete strength early. Besides cement type, we also need to specify the type of coarse and fine aggregate. There are two types of aggregate, which are crushed and uncrushed. Crushed aggregate has sharp angular particles, rough surface, and taken from quarry. Crushed aggregate with the proper proportions provides a better bond with the cement matrix and adequate workability. Meanwhile, uncrushed aggregate has round shape and smooth surface, therefore they have lower surface area, but lack the angularity to develop sufficient bond strengths with the cement paste. Concrete mixes with smaller aggregates are less workable compared to larger size aggregates. Elongated, angular and flaky aggregates are difficult to mix and place and have greater surface area to cover, and will decrease the workability. Next step is to determine the water to cement ratio. Step 1, Table 1.0 is used to determine the approximate compressive strength. For example, if we use OPC type of cement and crushed type of coarse aggregate, the approximate compressive strength is 49 MPa at 28 days of age. Step 2, use value from table 1.0 which is 49 Newton per millimeter square and mark at Y axis at figure 2.0, C point X. Figure 2.0 shows the relationship between compressive strength and free water to cement ratio. Step 3, from point X, draw horizontal line, green line, towards 0.5 free water to cement ratio line, then draw a line imitating the original curve line, refer red dotted curve line. Step 4, mark the value of target mean strength which is 43.12 Newton per millimeter square at Y axis, C.0, and draw a horizontal line, refer blue line, up to intersect the red dotted curve line. Step 5, from the intersection, draw a vertical line, refer orange line, down to x-axis. It shows 0.54 water cement ratio. The last step for stage 1 is to specify the maximum free water to cement ratio, if any. If there is a requirement to stick the maximum free water to cement ratio to certain value, the concrete mix design is called as restricted design. For example, the free water to cement ratio from previous calculation is 0.54, and if there is maximum free water to cement ratio restriction due to certain condition at the construction site, say, 0.5, we need to use the lowest free water to cement ratio value for the next stage of calculation, which is 0.5. If there is no specification for maximum free water to cement ratio, use 0.54. Concrete mix design, stage 2, to determine the free water content. Free water content is the content of water needs in unit of kilogram per meter cube. The content of water in the design mix is based on the slump height and the maximum aggregate size that we use in the design mix. Do you remember the purpose of slump test? It is to ensure the consistency of fresh concrete before it sets and to check the workability of freshly made concrete, the ease of concrete flows and correct amount of water added. We need to specify the slump height of concrete or it is given based on the workability required by the design mix. Standard sizes of coarse aggregate are 10 mm, 20 mm and 40 mm diameter. Whilst the size of fine aggregate is 600 micron. Maximum size is normally taken as 20 mm or 40 mm diameter. Table 2.0 is used to determine the approximate water contents. 
For example, the maximum size of coarse aggregate used is 20 mm and both fine and coarse aggregates are crushed type, and the slump test specified is 30 to 60 mm, so the approximate free water content is 210 kg per meter cubes. Concrete mix design, stage 3, to determine the cement content. Cement content is the net content of cement needs in unit of kilogram per meter cubes. The content of cement in the design mix is based on the free water content and the free water to cement ratio. Equation 3 is used to obtain the cement content. Cement content is equal to free water content divided by free water to cement ratio obtained from stage 1 and stage 2 of the design mix. For example, by using equation 3, free water content is 210 kg per meter cubes divided by free water to cement ratio which is taken as 0.54. Hence, the cement content is 390 kg per meter cube. For restrained concrete mix design, there are chances to have maximum or minimum cement content set as required by any parties in the construction industry. So the rules are, use calculated cement content, if the value is less than maximum cement content, or, use minimum cement content, if the value is more than or equal with the calculated cement content. They're also allowable for the modified free water to cement ratio. This is only applicable if there is any special condition or adjustment made on site. Concrete mix design, stage 4, to determine total aggregate content. Stage 4 involved the specification of relative density of aggregate, determination of the concrete density, and total aggregate content. The relative density or the specific gravity of the combined aggregate in the saturated surface dry condition, SSD, can be assumed of 2.6 for uncrushed aggregate and 2.7 for crushed aggregate. How to determine the wet density of concrete mix? Let's take a look at this slide, by using figure 3.0, assume that the SSD is 2.7, for crushed aggregate. From previous value of free water content which is 210 kg per meter cube, project the free water content from x-axis intersecting line 2.7 and draw horizontal line towards y-axis. Measure the value at y-axis, the value of wet density of concrete mix is approximately 2400 kg per meter cube. Equation 4 is used to calculate the total of saturated and surface dry aggregate content. Wet density of concrete minus with the cement content and the free water content would give the amount of total aggregate content. In this example, the wet density of concrete is 2400 kg per meter cube, minus with the cement content 390 kg per meter cube, and minus with the free water content 210 kg per meter cube, make the total aggregate content is 1800 kg per meter cube. Concrete mix design, stage 5, to determine the proportion of fine and coarse aggregate content. Stage 5 involved the specification for percentage of fine aggregate passing 600 micron, determination of fine aggregate percentage, and then we could obtain the proportion for fine and coarse aggregate. Grading of fine aggregates are determination of particle size distribution of aggregates. Grading of aggregates is an important factor for concrete mix design. These affect the concrete strength as well as durability. Standard percentage passing for fine aggregate 600 micron is between 60 to 79 percent. Let's say, the percentage fine aggregate passing 600 micron is taken as 65 percent, so the proportion of fine aggregate can be obtained from figure 4.0. Figure 4.0 shows the recommended proportions of fine aggregate according to percentage passing a 600 micron sieve. The figure is divided into three subfigures according to the maximum aggregate size. In this example, use the subfigure for 20 mm maximum aggregate size. Firstly, pick the correct slump range, in this case 30 to 60 mm slump height, and draw a line parallel to the nearest percentage passing value. Then, draw a vertical line from x-axis, 
refer the water to cement ratio, and project the intersection line to y-axis to get the percentage proportion of fine aggregate. In this example, we get 32 percentage proportion of fine aggregate. Finally, we need to calculate the proportion of fine and coarse aggregate. Fine aggregate can be calculated by multiplying total aggregate content with percentage proportion of fine aggregate as shown by equation 5. In this example, total aggregate content is 1800 kg per meter cube multiply with 0.32%, so the proportion of fine aggregate is 576 kg per meter cube. Therefore, the coarse aggregate content can be obtained using equation 6. In this example, the coarse aggregate content is 1224 kg per meter cube. Please take note that, if we choose size 20 mm aggregate as the maximum size for the concrete mixes, the mixes must have combination sizes of 10 mm and 20 mm aggregate by ratio 1 to 2. Meanwhile, if we choose size 40 mm aggregate as the maximum size for the concrete mixes, we must adopt the ratio of 1 to 1.5 to 3 for 10 mm, 20 mm and 40 mm, respectively. For this example, because of the maximum size of aggregate is 20 mm, therefore, the ratio proportion for 10 mm and 20 mm aggregate is 1 to 2. Therefore, the proportion for 10 mm aggregate is 408 kg per meter cube, and the proportion for 20 mm aggregate is 816 kg per meter cube. The final stage of concrete design mix is to determine the proportion of trial mix quantity. Trial mix can be defined as the sampling of concrete batch and undergo testing procedures. The purpose of concrete trial mixes is to check the strength, workability, density, and other properties of concrete mixes. For example, you are required to produce concrete mixes for grade 30 concrete cubes. You need to prepare three concrete test cube of 150 mm cube dimension for compression test at 7 and 28 days. This means, you need to prepare total of six concrete cubes. Percent of concrete wastage also need to be added into the total volume of trial mix. In this example, we take 10% wastage of concrete. Therefore, the volume for six concrete cubes is 0.02025 meter cube, and the total volume of trial mix after we add 10% wastage is 0.02275 meter cube. Now, look at the quantities per meter cube. The quantities per meter cube can be rounded to the nearest 5 kilograms to ease the weighing of materials on the site or in the laboratory. For example, for fine aggregate, 576 kilogram per meter cube can be rounded to 580 kilogram per meter cube. However, for this example, we take calculated values to avoid confusion. Once we know the volume of trial mix, we can calculate the quantity of each material used in concrete mix. Finally, for trial mix of 0.022275 meter cube, the quantity of water needed is 4.7 kilogram, cement is 8.7 kilogram, fine aggregate or sand is 12.8 kilogram, 10 millimeters diameter coarse aggregate is 9.1 kilogram and 20 millimeters diameter coarse aggregate is 18.2 kilogram.